hello everybody in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to add a 3d element or 3d assets to your Freema website we are going to be using spline to get our 3d assets and spline has a lot of free 3d assets that we can use so without further ado let's get started so guys adding a 3d asset to your Freema website is actually very easy and you can achieve this with these simple steps First, you have to have the landing page or the website where you want to attach your 3D and you must have created a section where you want to attach the 3D. And for me, I'm going to be using this particular landing page that I got from the free templates on Freema. You can go to the template section and you can get a free template um, if you want to just follow along with the video. But I'm going to be using this where I am removing the image that was originally here and leaving this section empty. I'm going to go to the layers panel. We have this content, which is the text on the left. And then we have this particular stack that has this empty space. Select the section where you want to add your 3D assets. And for me, it's this stack here. I'm going to select this and I'm going to go to insert. On the insert section, I'm going to use the search menu to search for embed. And you can see it here as the last item. I'm going to select embed and it's just going to give us an element um, that we can embed anywhere basically so i'm going to select this embed element and i'm going to put it into this stack which is this section where we want to add our 3d so what i'm going to do is on the layer section i'm going to select embed and i'm going to click and drag into this stack so once i do that you can see that the embedded element is overflowing on the left and on the right of the stack what i can then do is to come to the width section and make it fill that way it takes the full width of the container which is the stack that you've put it in so from here what we want to do is to select this embed item and come to this url section and basically paste the url to where our 3d is and for that we are going to be using spline we've not really talked about spline but spline is a platform that lets you create and use 3d assets right so i'm going to go to the communities and i'm going to open the spline community i also want to look for a free 3d asset because we don't have enough time to create a 3D asset from scratch. So I'm just going to grab this very first one on the right here, which is this rocket. I'm going to open it up. Once you open it up, you want to go ahead and hit this remix button. So I'm going to hit the remix button and it's going to open up an editor where we have this particular 3D asset and we can um, do whatever we like to that 3D asset from there. It's just like creating a copy of that particular file. So once we have our 3D assets open up in the spline editor, what you want to simply do is to click on export and you want to go ahead and copy the link to this 3D asset. So without touching anything, I'm just going to wait for you to generate the link. As you can see here, your public URL content has been updated. Then I'm going to click on copy link. You will get this check mark confirming that you've copied the link. Next, we want to go to our Frema website and then paste the link we just copied. So I'm just going to copy this, paste it here and then hit enter and just like that we are going to have a 3d asset embedded in our website and if we go ahead to play this i'm going to click on the prototype to open this up and you're going to see how this is looking quite nice then you can you can see that you can play around the 3d asset right from Freema, which is super nice but if you notice you're going to see that this particular 3d asset is quite big and we want to like zoom out a little bit more what we can then do is to go back to our spline editor i'm going to close up this model and i'm just going to zoom in zoom out a little bit more i'm going to zoom out just like this um that means i'm taking the camera like back and i'm going to zoom in a little bit more i think this is okay for me so once i have this particular viewport i'm going to come to this play camera section click on this and add new camera it's going to ask us to use this particular camera that we are just adding and i'm going to say use this camera once you have that you want to then go back to your export section i'm going to go to export so once we are here i'm going to click on this update public url but before that you also want to confirm that the camera settings is on the camera which is the new one we just created then i'm going to go ahead to update the public url once you've done that you're going to go back to copy this particular link i'm just going to wait for it to successfully update and i'm going to click on copy link i'm then going to go back to my frame dashboard i'm going to return to the editor and on this section i'm first going to remove the existing link and hit enter to make sure that that space is empty then i'm going to paste in the new link and i'm going to paste it in so you can see that by the time this shows up you can see that this particular 3d object is now zoomed out 
uh, because we've changed the camera that we are using so i can go ahead to prototype this or play this and make it full screen so you can see now that we can see the full object of the 3d and i can then go ahead to play around with this which is super cool so we can also try other assets i'm going to go back to the spline editor go back to the spline community and just go back a little bit and here let's look for another asset that we can pick i'm going to select this one here i'm going to click on this and it's going to open up as usual we're going to go to remix so here once it is opened up just like the way we do we export this and then we copy the link but we are going to wait for it to completely generate the link so that we can easily copy it then we are going to copy this from here i'm going to go back to our framer go back to the ui and return to the editor here on the url i'm going to open this and remove this i'm going to hit enter then i'm going to paste in the new one and i'm going to hit enter we're just going to wait a while and see if we can get our cube but you can see that it is currently not displaying properly um, because of the size we can then go back to this particular tool where is it i think this is it here remove this export model select this and then um, we can zoom it in a little bit more and then place it like at the top right so once i've move this to the top right corner i'm going to click randomly on the ad board come to play camera select this and add a new camera once i do add a new camera i'm going to say use this camera and then i'm going to export this and i'm going to update the public url i'm going to copy the public url go back to our framer tool i'm going to take this out click on enter then paste the new one and hit enter so you can now see that this is placed properly on our hero section i'm just going to increase this a little bit more and i'm going to hit on the prototype tab i'm going to set this to full screen just so that we see this properly now you can see this 3d asset looking nice you can go around to play with it um, just like this so guys this is it this is how you can embed a 3d asset into your Freema website i hope you've been able to learn a thing or two please do not forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find any of my videos helpful and bye for now i'm going to see you guys in my next video